Hello everyone, it's Andrew again. Uh, I just wanted to do another little update. Uh, it's been a very busy week while I've been at work. Uh, Google has released the new SDK for Ice Cream Sandwich, and I wanted to show you a little bit of how it runs. Or It's going to run like crap, but uh, basically you can actually run it on your computer right now with the latest SDK release and tools update. First thing you're going to want to do is update your tools. You're going to have to go to your SDK. And by the way, I apologize for the crappy video quality. I am using um, my tablet to record this. And that's pretty much the only way I'm going to actually be able to visually see anything while I'm doing this, while I find better software options for other stuff. Anyways, so this is actually the newest release of Ubuntu. Um, the I can't even remember what the hell they call it, but it is an awful lot. But uh, yeah, everything seems to run just fine. Uh, you can even build on it. I did a little test build last night and I was actually successfully able to build because also Google has released the source code again. It's back online. It's at a different website. It's through their own website. Uh, I will be doing a review later on on how exactly to build a CyanogenMod uh, ROM through the new um, source code website, okay? But uh, it's I've had a very busy night since I couldn't sleep, since I worked night shift, but uh, I wanted to show you the SDK right now. And um, there is a new update to it, so it, it actually, the tools look very different. Uh, once you, you're gonna have to go into your tools folder uh, in your SDK, run Android again. Uh, if you're running Linux, just select the running terminal. I think you also get that prompt on um, Mac OS X. Uh, I'm not using my MacBook right now because it is painfully updating that the the SDK. It's taking forever. Um, I apologize. So here's your new manager. It looks very different. You'll but this is still how you're going to install your virtual devices. It just looks very different. The when you go up here, uh, you can't see it, but when you go up here, you'll see the tools, manage add-on sites and manage AVDs. Manage AVDs will still bring up your your typical um, oops, sorry about that. Your typical AVD manager from the other ones. This hasn't really changed at all. But uh, I've already installed uh, installed it so what you would do is you click select new name it anything you want um, I named mine ice cream Sammy uh, a little bit to be funny but um, so you name it and then when you select the target scroll all the way down to uh, 4.0 on the bottom Android 4.0 API level 14 and then you can run it and it will run but yes it is not optimized for pc so it does run like crap but one thing that this will lead to is since it's already available in emulator form you'll probably see it on older devices relatively soon maybe some rom uh they're just ports from the emulator uh, they probably won't be fully functional since there won't be any release but like I, I'm sure this will probably be running on a on um, older phones like a, a hero or something like that relatively soon because that's what people like to do and I have no problem with that I don't have my hero anymore so I can't actually do it but here we go you'll take into this typical lock screen you can see it's just like the videos and photos of the of the Net Galaxy Nexus, you get the camera which won't work, and you're unlocked. And you got your pages. It actually is not running that bad. It was running a lot worse earlier for me. Who knows? But you'll see a lot of the features, like like very blandly, it does look a lot like um, gingerbread with like a, a skin gingerbread. Now, a little launcher, this is where it gets a little different. The first time you run this, you'll get little 
kind of instructional things on how to do things, but um, the reason why I'm not doing is that because I don't have any other pages. But if you were to swipe across, if you had more than, I guess, what is it, four by five, so more than 20 apps, you'll have uh, another page. You just swipe across. The widgets, you get your standard widgets, and they all work. You can just long press them, move them. You can, uh, oops, sorry about that. I'm still learning everything because obviously I don't have a device. Ah, I know there's a way to edit this. Is this one's not resizable? Oh, well, one of the biggest big features of Ice Cream Sandwich, well, it was somewhat available with some uh, launchers and other releases is resizable widgets. Uh, I haven't played very much with it, in fact, not at all. But, um, you yeah, know, here's Ice Cream Sandwich, it works. And why won't let me switch the page? All right. Anyway, this is a quick video. Just wanted to show you that little feature. All right. Bye.